Hey guys, this is Ross, and I want to talk to you today about my Razzmatazz Grape. What a name, right? But uh, it's a very interesting grape. Okay, this isn't any old regular grape here. This is um, a grape that I think is bred, they crossbred it with uh, a muscadine grape and a regular old European table grape, I, I believe. I, I could be wrong, but the nice thing about this particular vine is that it puts out uh, fruit continuously throughout the season. You can see here, um, if you look close enough, you'll see that there's little clusters forming all along the new growth, and it just continues like that throughout the season, I guess. Um, you know, there's all kinds of clusters, just little, I mean, these probably won't be full-sized vines, you know, full-sized uh, bunches of grapes here, guys. But uh, I think that the key here is that they keep continuously fruiting, which is really nice for someone who is a backyard grower, you know, a home hobbyist. Here you can see one that's you know, a little more immature. And it just keeps doing that. Um, the way that I pruned this thing, because I had to put it in a container, guys. It's it's a muscadine grape. Uh, in terms of its hardiness, it's a muscadine grape. And it's also very disease resistant, too, because of that. So I don't have to spray this grape whatsoever. Um, but it's not very hardy. It's hardy down to about zone 7 and... We are in zone seven here, but if I were to put this in the ground, uh, we may not have good success with it. So I had to put it in a container, but it goes deciduous. You know, you can see here, here's last year's wood that some of it actually kind of died back because uh, the greenhouse was a little too hot at certain times. But it's coming back strong. It's fruiting uh, this year. Last year it did put out some fruit, but it didn't make it in time. And uh, I'm just very excited for this grape. It just seems, I mean, it's like a no-brainer, right? It's a grape that you don't have to care for in any way. It's, it's care, you know, there's no spraying involved. You just have to protect it from um, critters. And you'll have fruit, rather than all at one time, you'll have it all throughout the season. So if I go over here, these are my European grapes, and these are much more hardy, right? So I can grow these in the ground here in zone seven. These guys are extremely vigorous in the ground. I'm going to get way more fruit off of these guys than I can handle, which isn't really a bad thing. You can see the amount of clusters in here, some of which, you know, the, the grapes have formed now, some of which uh, will not be full bunches, I guess. They'll be pretty thin bunches, but that doesn't matter to me. Um, they may be a little bit smaller size grapes. But the thing is with this, this vine here and the second vine of the European style that I have, uh, these grapes will produce for me in a very short period of time. Um, and that's it. It's one and done, guys. So they also have problems with disease, as you can see on the leaves here. This is a European style grape that has some, um, probably some kind of disease on it, some kind of rust. Um, and they also have problems on the fruit itself with rot. Um, the muscadine grapes don't have that problem whatsoever. It's uh, quite incredible. It's a native grape to the United States. Um, you can find them wild even in like, uh, you know, in southern parts of the world, southern parts of the country, I should say. And uh, that's what they're kind of doing. They're, they're breeding muscadines to be more hardy uh, have different fruiting habits and this is one of them so this was the razzmatazz grape guys uh, i hope you enjoyed this little piece of information about this grapevine and i'll give you guys an update when it fruits and we'll get to taste it so i'll talk to you guys later